Okay, so today I was thinking about just my time that I've spent in California. I've been coming here since I was 12 and living here on and off for a few months at a time, a few weeks, then it turned into a year at a time, and then it turned into living a year on my own in New Zealand, and then living for three years, two of those spent in the depths of COVID by myself in pretty much what was my first apartment, truly on my own. And now here I am, my third year coming to an end. And oh my gosh, like how things have changed. And I just was thinking so much about life and things I've learned over these last few years, which is just endless amounts of challenges and obstacles and exciting things and unbelievable things and life altering things. Like so much has happened in these last three to four years of my life, really four because uh, counting New Zealand, which was probably one of the biggest life changing years of my entire existence thus far. But just one of the things that has really stuck with me as kind of like a whole like theme of these four years was in my philosophy class this this last semester we all had to like choose a research topic that was like a philosoph a philosophical question and one of my favorite questions that somebody in our class had come up with was like what is self and you know is there a true sense of self when you know that was his question was like is there a way is there even a self like can there be a consistent self you know whatever and basically like a lot of the findings that he came upon was that like literally who we are anatomically is not the same whatsoever from certain times because our cells like literally regenerate and completely renew i don't know how however many couple of years or whatever but like you literally physically are not the same person as you know whatever amount of years ago so like quite literally and biologically there isn't like this continuous self that you have so the reason why this like stuck with me was just like it was just so mind-blowing because one of the craziest things growing up so far has just been like, you know, holding on to identity or trying to create an identity or a sense of self or like, who am I? How do I, you know, especially with growing up acting, you have to have your elevator pitch. You know, who are you? Why do you matter? What's so special about you? It's like, so you're kind of constantly trying to formulate something and figure out, you know, who am I? What things can I like for certain say that I represent or I am? And it's like, that's not realistic. And I realized that it's, you know, you as a person, you know, are created literally based on from the first, let's say five years, you don't remember those years. So you already become who you are based on other people's recollection of how you were. You hear stories about what you were like from birth to five years old based on people around you because you can't remember. So already those first five years of self-identity is solely based on other people's perception of you. So like even just starting from that thought blows my mind because it's just like, you know, sure there's genetics and, you know, there's a whole elaborate conversation you can have about self and personality and stuff. I'm sure I'll learn more in my next semester on personality, but, um, it, it's, it's almost just like stupid, pointless to even try to think of a self because you're just constantly growing and being shaped by your experiences and people you encounter and genetics and your how your family is and people that influence you and like social media like there's just 
there's so many things contributing to who you are. And so from all this, it's just been really wild to see like, you know, I, from a very young age, I remember always thinking, you know, not that I had it all figured out, but like, I couldn't, when I was seven, imagine being in college. Like in my head, I was like, nah, like, it's just, that's not a thing. People don't grow up. Like, I just, you know, because I can't remember zero to five, I'm like, I've just been seven my whole life. And people who are in college, they've just been in college their whole life. Like, there's no sense of time. Like, I was just convinced that I was never going to get older. Like, people just exist the age that they're existing forever. I don't know. But, so I just, like, never imagined, like, what I would be like, what I would be doing, what I would be learning, where I'd be at, like, and it's just, like, you just don't know what you don't know. So at the time, you think you know everything you need to know, and then someday you find out something new, and then you're like, ah, I guess I didn't know that. Like, I'm not making any sense right now, but... It's just like, I think my dad said this the other day, like, your life is literally just beginning, which is such a crazy thought because, you know, people say, you know, oh my God, I turned 25, I'm almost 30, I'm nearly dead. And it's like, what? Like, dude, no. Like, if I'm just beginning, don't be saying that I'm already dying, like, getting old. I mean, we're all dying, so, you know, but like, it's kind of like true like I like when I fostered a dog the other day or last week that opened up so many things that I never thought about felt or like could understand like having a living being in my house like having to take care of them and like feeling so much love for this little animal and like it's just like, whoa, and people live with those, like, and then they have permanent ones called kids, and like, you can't get rid of them ever, you're stuck, that's wild, like, and I'm not even there yet, like, that's gonna be crazy, so, yeah, but like, man, is it weird? You know, I, it's just like, I came out here when I was 16 with my mom. I left here when I was 17 and or 18 and lived in New Zealand for the first time, no parents, didn't know anything about being on my own and just worked as a full grown adult from for 16 hours, six days a week, nine months straight. And boy, was that a wake up call. And ever since then, it's like, I've just seen so much in my life change and see myself grow and like go through a lot of stuff. And if y'all think being alone in your room for a few hours or a couple days or a few weeks is crazy and you feel like you're going insane, imagine living by yourself for three years. If you catch me talking to myself, it's a daily occurrence. I mean, today I just happen to be recording it, but these conversations happen all the time. It's, it's just how it is. But, you know, it's just like, it's wild because you think about the past and you're like, man, you know, I wish I would have learned all this stuff earlier so I could have, you know, enjoyed more. And it's just wild. Like, everybody's got a different perception of life, which, you know, influences how they spend every day, how they think. One of the biggest things that I think about is just, like, what do people think about 24-7? I mean, I'm alone with my thoughts for most of the day, most of the time, especially in these last four years or three years. And it's like, I wonder how other people think and I wonder what they think about. And when they're just like chilling for a second in silence, like what it, like what, what thoughts are crossing their mind and how does that affect how they live their life and what they do and what their next move is? Like, 
I don't know. I'm just like rambling random thoughts, but I don't know. I guess what I'm kind of saying is like, life is short and long and filled with so much good and bad, but it's just how it is. And it needs to be that way because you learn so much. And I guess also like people are who they are, but I do believe people change to a certain extent and on a certain level, but it's just like, it's kind of cool that we all change. And it's kind of awesome that like, I'm not the same person I was three years ago and I'm not the same person I was four years ago. And I probably won't be the same person a year from now. And that's like pretty awesome because I'm definitely proud of old Jax, but I'm really relieved that new Jax is here. And I'm really excited to see where new Jax, and new, newer Jax, what she's like. And it doesn't always mean that it's getting better. Sometimes it could get worse, you know, you don't know, but like hopefully it just keeps getting better. <laughs> but I don't know, it's just like, life is cool and it's really hard to just like, take every day by day and like just really try to enjoy it whatever that means to you and just soak it in and like i don't know it's like you know you don't want to regret things and it's not worth it to regret things you just have to keep being honest with yourself and really just making decisions based on your 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 gut and 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 thoughtfulness and you know, your goals and aspirations. And hopefully, you know, no matter what, it's, there's, there, there's no wrong answer. You're going to learn whatever you needed to learn. And, you know, and it's all going to work out and, and be good, you know, but yeah, I don't know. <laughs> uh, it's just crazy. Life is crazy. And also like just uh, so many things, you know, yeah, I could keep going. This is already 12 minutes long. Anyways, I don't know. Growing up is cool. Your early 20s are definitely wild. So is 18, 19. But yeah, it's just crazy. But it's cool. You know. All right, cool. That's my, I don't know, philosophical life talk with Jax for today. I'm gonna go walk on the treadmill and ponder some more things about life. Happy Friday. <laughs>